Hi, this is Nick J. Back from Video Masterclass on YouTube. Now, I'm shooting this video, another accessory video, and this is a kind of, um, I would kind of stay away from these, uh, the concept of this particular, um, this particular accessory, unless it allows you to do one thing. Now, this is one of those, uh, four-in-one reflectors um, it's a uh, 36 by 48 inch square reflector and it basically has um, different color as a silver a gold and a black and a white kind of reflective foil covering now you know you might think oh that this is quite good it gives me lots of options just in case i want to get different types of reflection um or or sort of take light away by using the black one but here's the problem i bought something very similar which was a um basically a disc that sort of closes up into a small you twist it and it, it kind of folds up into a bag a bit like a tent now I bought this because in the middle here was translucent. This material here is translucent. This this bit here, the foil, I never ever ever use. Um, it's silver and gold and I think it's soft silver and soft gold on the other side. But I don't use it. I bought this primarily so I can pump light through the white area. Um, to be used kind of like um, we? to kind of be used like that this is translucent you put a light on one side shine it through and you get a nice soft light other than that I do not use this material why because um, it's like a soft mirror in in the fact that um, a mirror if you shine a light into it you'll get a and then you you sort of shine the mirror onto a wall you'll get a, a solid square shape of the mirror well this is the same thing but it's a kind of you get a rippled effect you get a rippled effect so if you're trying to use it to sort of lighten the side of somebody's face um, or trying to lighten something in the shot what you get if there's any kind of movement like wind or the person's holding it is moving it slightly you get this horrible shimmering effect and you also get like a horrible hot spot on the wall where you can see the reflectors kind of it's not as hard as as the light from a mirror cast onto a wall but nevertheless you can see it uh, and it has quite a horrible sort of um, non-naturalistic effect so you know if you see something like this and you think yeah this looks good because it enables me to do different kinds of reflection don't bother getting it because you'll be able to see it in the shot on the actor's face blowing around shimmering around um, every single time uh, the only reason like I said I got this was because it had this translucent bit in the middle which enabled me to sort of create this kind of effect which is the uh, I think this is probably a large flag but it's it's a large frame metal frame with uh, two on six or diffusion stretched over it um, which is like the front end of a softbox but going back to um, our friend here well, we going back to our friend here this is quite interesting because although the black is going to come in handy and the white is going to come in handy because these are kind of they're matte they're like a matte they haven't got a shine to them so you're not going to get that horrible shimmering that you would get from this um, what's good about this is it's a frame if you look closely here this is the bottom uh, this is the bottom of it so it would be um, here that would go into the stand what's good about this is now that you can have this on your stand using some sort of flag knuckle 
um, and now you've got a frame that you can uh, you can hang some F1 or F2 or 2 on 6 diffusion or you can stretch a piece of shower curtain across um, and then have a light coming through it a bit like well very much like this one here you can have this effect you can put something translucent over the front and have a light coming through it and you know you've got a lightweight kind of um, you basically then got a lightweight uh, piece of kit that you can just kind of get out wherever so yeah I this sort of thing would actually work for that and you can also uh, stretch duct tape across uh, from one side to the other on if you take that off and you've got the frame you can always you know um, put duct tape strips across uh, on a diagonal as if they're kind of uh, window beams the beams in the window and then shine a light through it and cast the shadows onto a wall or you can hang dingle off it you know, like bits of twi uh, tree, bits of branch, uh, you know, small bits of foliage to kind of get a mottled light effect. So, like I say, this in itself, the reflectors is pretty enough, and I would stay away from uh, these per se, but the frame underneath it is pretty damn useful. This has been Nick J. Bat. I shall see you on another video. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment below this video or you can subscribe uh, to the channel so you can be apprised of any new videos that are uploaded. I'll speak to you soon.